Hey guys, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today, I'm so excited. Well, I don't seem excited, but I am pretty excited. Today we are doing the first ever episode of How Many Looks? Featuring Two Face Peach Out. Okay, anyways. I thought a concealer too light, so bear with me if my eyelids look like a blank sheet of paper. But enough talking and let's get right into the video. Okay, for the first look, let's just like start off simple ish and do like a probably like a natural everyday. I know I've done everyday glam on my channel before, but let's just don't go in and start slow and build our way up and see how intense we can get. And if you don't know what this series is about, go watch my previous video, which will be linked in the description box down below, so we can find out why I created this series. But anyways, yeah, taking in our concealer. This is Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, recommended by the one and only Kathleen Lights. She is an amazing YouTuber in the beauty industry, and I love her a lot. Anyways, I ramble so much, I just realized that, okay. I'm not supposed to be in the shade 15 fair, but I bought a concealer shade to light, so bear with me. We're going to prime our eyelids with a bit of concealer. Okay. Yep, that's what I mean. A blank sheet of paper. Make sure you prime all the way to the brow bone so that we can put shadow all over our eyelids. Okay, now taking the Waver Lux Crease Brush in number 228. Looks like that, like that. And dipping into the shade Peaches and Cream, which is a new shade that matches my lids perfectly. We're going to put that in our crease. Let's just set the concealer with this shade. Okay. After you've done that, it should look like this. And then we go in with um, Charmed, I'm sure, which is a cool tone brown, which is my favorite shade in this palette, and probably the only reason why I keep this palette. Just gonna set that in our crease and bring it to our brow bone. And can I just look at this? Okay, story time on why I keep this palette and the only reason why I keep this palette, as I said, is because of that cool tone brown. Because it's the perfect amount of coolness for an Asian person like me and a perfect amount of warmness if I want like a transitioning shade to look perfect like that. That's why I keep this palette. But other than that, don't get me wrong, they're pretty, but I don't know, they don't really speak to me anymore. So I thought, you know, first episode, let's challenge ourselves to create something that using a palette that is probably a not the favorite palette of mine. I don't even think I have a favorite palette. Do I have a favorite palette? No I don't. Yet to find one, but we will find one soon. Okay anyways, going after we've done that, we are going to take a flat shader brush. Like a fluffy flat shader brush. This from Sephora. I think it was 
from the Smoky Basic set that I got. But yeah, taking that brush and dipping into the shade Summer Yum and Fury. And then putting that on the lids. You know what? Don't take your just take some yum. Because it's a much darker shade than our transition shade. Ooh! Okay, I like it. Okay. The I said this was neutral, but this isn't going neutral. Okay. Taking the shade Delectable, which is a dark purple, we are going to send that on the other corners. Like that. And send it inwards. I set it up light because I was really scared, but now that it looks pretty okay, we can go in dark. I mean, heavy handed. Okay, taking your crease brush that we used before and blending everything together. Wow, I did not practice this look and it's turning out pretty good. Okay, since I'm only allowed to use one palette, I mean, this is the only thing I can use with my eyes, we are going to take a small detailed brush and take the shade White Peach, which is the white in the palette, and Nectar. Which is a shade below it. And then taking Fix Plus because this is not very intense, we don't fix plus this shit up. Oh no, okay. Okay. And dip it back into it. And then this will be our inner corner highlight. Okay, did not envision this look turning out like that, but I like it. Okay, so do the same for the other eye. Wow, I really like it. Cute-ish. Cute enough. I guess. Oh my god, my hair. Okay. As you know, I don't like doing lower lash line. I should- Oh no, why is it- Okay, why is it in a corner shade on my lids? Okay. So. This is the first look. I actually really like it. Let's move on to the second look. Okay, for the second look, we are going to can we build on this? No, we can't. Okay, I have to go and get my makeup remover. Be a bit kids. Good luck. I kind of cheated, okay, guys. I'm gonna be honest. I kind of cheated. I'm not actually supposed to practice any of these looks before I do them, but I kind of cheated and I did. So 
we are just gonna roll with that but I feel like I had to practice this because I might actually <laughs> okay anyways no excuses <laughs> okay for this look we're gonna use three shades in this palette um I tell a lie no that's right three shades my bad okay starting with concealer as always we are going to prime the lids I can't see my face I put down so it's too big of a dollop I'm sorry I always put it to my brow bone just in case I want to like apply shadow there as well Ah. The thing about this concealer is that I only can use this for as, a, as an eye primer because I bought a shade too light, well, probably two shades too light, to use as a actual concealer. But it's okay. Okay, next, taking my favorite shade. As I said, it's my favorite shade. I can't not take it, can I? and just slightly buffing it in the crease like that Oh, she beautiful If you watch my previous video, if you watch my previous video, you would know why I opened my eyes and put crease shades on. Okay, here comes the stressful part. We are gonna create a wing liner with the black in the palette called Tempting. I think it has gold shimmer in it. I don't know. Seems like it has shimmer in it. But yeah, we're gonna wet the brush with a Fix Plus. Okay, and then take tempting and draw an eyeliner, a wing liner, with it. I can't zoom you in, can I? Oh my god. Okay. Okay, taking tempting. Um, I'm sure I, I am so stressed. Okay. Okay, we haven't to draw a wing yet. We're going to do the the eyelid portion first just to make sure that it looks okay okay let me just like why do I have a feeling when this stuff is up Oh, I'm scared. Okay. <sighs> oh no. Oh no. Okay. Hey, wait. Okay, let's add more. This is not black enough. There we go. We fix the eye look. Oh my god. I don't usually draw wing liner and I don't know how I feel about this. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Okay. But yes, this is book number two. Okay. Okay. 
see the all oh, the floors and the elite only elite okay okay this fan is blowing in my face and it's making my hair go everywhere not fun Okay, after your lids are primed, you know what you're gonna do. But this time, we are not taking Chang Dong Shui. We're taking Georgia, which is from my friend's name. And I think it's a really beautiful name for a girl, a person. Taking Georgia, we are going to put this in our crease. If I don't prime my lids, this color doesn't show up as vibrant as it is showing up right now. Just huge plus point as to why you should prime your eyelids. Okay. Okay. And then after they look something like this, we are going to take. Uh, okay, let's take candied peach on the same brush. I don't know if it's gonna show up because this is not kind of it's kind of hard. The shadow, the pinkiest in the palette, and <coughs> deep in the crease. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. Just putting random pink shades on my lids and seeing what we're gonna create. But we can create with this pinkish explosion in my lid. It's technically a literal explosion. Because I honestly don't know what this is going to turn into. Okay, now. Let's take just Peachy and Bellini and you know what? Wait, let me see. Yeah, taking just Peachy and Bellini, mixing both of them and putting that on the lids with our fingers because I like I think I guess it's better than using a brush sometimes. Which is why I don't. Okay. Ooh, it's turning out better than I, envis I envisioned it to be. Wow. Wow. Okay. We are not gonna attempt to draw a wing liner anymore, even though this look will look beautiful with a wing liner. Not being the usual me, we are going to do lower lash line. Okay, for lower lash line, because this look looks like it calls for lower lash line, we're gonna take candied peach and put this on the other third of the lower lash line. Like so. And then putting Georgia on the inner half. And repeating on the other. Ow. Oh. I stabbed myself. Okay. I super did not type up the excess, but it's okay. 
It's a pinkish explosion. Wow. I never knew that I could create so many looks of color. Stunning. Please send my handlets if you can because they are super chapped from, I actually don't know what it's chapped from, but yeah, don't mind my very ugly lips. I don't know if this counted as a look, but if I'm rushing and I want to get out the door like really quickly, I take... I usually do this, I don't even prime my lids, I don't even prime. I go in with my finger and I take the shade cobbler and I run it over my lids and I call it a day. So, you know, if you're in a pinch but you want like some color on the eyelids, I kind of I just do this. Because it gives me color but it's not too much color but it still looks like I'm, I'm still wearing eyeshadow. This is only, this only happens if I really really want to wear eyeshadow, but I have no time to do like a full looks. I just do this and I call it a day. And yes, this is the finished look. Oh my god. But yeah, we are done with the video, done with all the looks. Let me give you my final thoughts on this palette. I know I said in my previous video, which is the trailer that I made, and at the start of this video that I don't really like this palette, but after this video, I think my opinions have changed. And I actually really enjoyed this palette. Now that I have like tried to exhaust the shiz out of this palette. But yeah. I would give this five peaches. I don't know. Five. Okay. And yeah. I think this complete this completes this video. And if you like seeing videos like this please. okay that completes this video and if you like videos like this and if you want to see more and make myself change my opinions on more palettes go and subscribe go ahead go ahead and subscribe like this video turn on your post notification bells is that what it's called? I think. and so you are notified every single time I post and yeah I will see you in the next one. Bye!